Welcome everyone to a journey through the extraordinary life of the enigmatic Star Stowe. From her early days in a small town to her meteoric rise to fame and the mysterious circumstances surrounding her untimely passing, Stowe was born Ellen Louise Stowe on March 19, 1956, in Little Rock, Arkansas, and grew up in Arkansas, Louisiana, and Nevada. Her father was an engineer. When she was a teenager she moved to Las Vegas and then to Los Angeles, where she worked as a stripper in an adult club. Stowe began dancing nude under the name, Star. She reportedly chose her nickname from the Rolling Stones' hit song, Star Star. The track, which is about groupies, was released in 1973, when Star Stowe would have been around 17 years old. It was also said she adopted the name from a fascination with the night sky so much so she had a blue star tattooed below her bikini line. At the age of 18, Star would meet Jean Simmons, an event that would change her life forever. They met in 1975 in Las Vegas. Simmons, who was then around 26 years old, was performing a gig with heavy metal icons Kiss at the Hotel Sahara. They both reportedly met in the hotel's elevators and instantly hit it off. Stowe dated Jean Simmons and he eventually sent her photos to Playboy. Her shoot was photographed by Pompeo Posar and included some pictures with a Rickenbacker bass guitar. The shoot was used as the centerfold in the February 1977 issue, and she was Playmate of the Month. She was the first Playmate with a visible tattoo. While the Playboy model and rock star couple would become a cliché in later years, Back in 1977 it was still somewhat unusual and the Simmons-Stowe relationship was the very height of rock and roll decadence, and in truth, Starr had something of the rock muse about her. As both a playmate and a rock star girlfriend, Starr found herself moving in celebrity circles for a while. Unfortunately it wasn't to last. Unbeknown to Stowe, and other women chosen as playmates, you have an obligation to do sexual favors to remain relevant and at the height of stardom within the magazine confines and even beyond, as Star would later find out. To help deal with the increasing sexual demands expected of her, it was suggested by a friend, to use drugs and alcohol as a way of numbing the pain and escaping the reality, which she did. Eventually Star could no longer take the pressures expected of her and told Hugh Hefner, quite explicitly, she was leaving. This made him very angry and in turn, he blacklisted her name, so much so she could not find modeling work anywhere. By this time Stowe had acquired a hefty drug and alcohol problem and her life was spiraling out of control. Partly due to her addiction and Jean Simmons' ambitions, which were set higher in the celebrity ladder, Star was out and Jean moved on. Star ultimately failed to capitalize on either her playboy status or rock star relationship and eventually married Peter Malaga in 1983, and had a son Michael. The marriage ended in divorce within three years, so Stowe moved to Fort Lauderdale in 1986 to find work as an exotic dancer once again. Luckily her playboy credentials at least ensured that she was not short of dancing work. When her son Michael was six she sent him to live with her mother but still stayed in touch with him through phone calls and visits. Star liked to party a little too much, and a taste for drink and drugs led her downhill, with predictable unreliability and physical wear and tear, not helped by competition from younger, healthier dancers, saw the strip work drying completely up. Stowe eventually fell into prostitution as a way to support herself and increased drug habit. In 1991, Stowe moved in with a boyfriend and gave up drugs and prostitution. This lasted until August 1996, when after a drunken argument they split. Sadly, Stowe went back to her former life on the streets. In 1997, Star Stowe was found murdered, strangled and partially clothed, and left behind a pharmacy. She was last seen working the streets in her old neighborhood between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. on March 16. Another prostitute, Sandra K. Walters, had been found dead under similar circumstances a couple of weeks earlier, and by the end of the year, two more women had been killed, leading police to conclude that a serial killer was at work. There were more victims by 1999, but then the murders stopped and the trail dried up. It's sobering to note that, 
for every famous serial killer case where the murderer is apprehended, there are others who are unapprehended. Whether they die, they are imprisoned for unrelated crimes or they simply stop, having burned through the rage that caused them to begin killing in the first place. Star Stowe's murder still remains unsolved to this day. Star Stowe's life may be marked by both triumphs and tragedies, but her legacy endures through the captivating images she left behind. Her beauty, talent and enduring mystery continue to captivate the imaginations of those who admire her. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Star Stowe's Life and Legacy. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating stories and biographies of the rich or famous. Until next time take care.